Hello everyone, I'm Dexe and I'm here to narrate um, for the first time on this edition of the Kalos Invitational. I have been away from Pokemon for a while, but this tournament is the perfect excuse to get back into it. I love watching I level way view you and I'll just sit here and share my thoughts with you guys on the games. I've already been spoiled by Kalos, he said this match was quite amazing and I can't wait to get on to it. We have triangles in the bottom versus Rob Jr. at the top. I don't know if you're here, both players, they don't really need introductions. Triangles, previous winner of the whole thing, and Rob Jr. also a very prestigious player, been around forever. Uh, let's just replay. What do we see here? We see Metagross for triangles versus Swamper from Rob, and Ludicolo switching on the Protect, the Scottie from Explosion. Makes sense. And we see Leech on the Celebi. So, just from those two modes reviewed on each side, we can tell that Triangle definitely has the more offensive squad here. Explosion, uh, Ludicolo often paired with other offensive water types. Um, I mean, Lich was already revealed. There's this trend where nowadays Rain Dance Ludicolo just is not that popular. They're mainly Lich Seed, which makes sense. Blissey is incredibly popular and Ludicolo is quite annoying to like. It's primary Blissey. Um, but yeah, the. I already feel like that Metagross is gonna be a key and exploding it on the right time is gonna be huge here. We should see switch back to Metagross, yeah, very safe. So do you explode here? Do you double maybe to the Colo expecting the, the Swampert? We see a Fortress and a Magneton. So a yeah, very offensive squad by Triangles here, definitely. I feel like there's a Swickle in the back. Perhaps. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, my, my voice is... Where, where's my voice? Fortress should leave this. Does it have Earthquake, though? It does not. It just goes for the, the second layer of spikes there. Which could be quite annoying for a triangle. It's very possible that squads like this don't run Spinner. Uh, there could be, like, an offensive Starmie in the back. But with the Ludicolo and everything, I'm expecting more Sosficon. But yeah, very fast-paced game. We see the Metagross switching in, but being slower than Terrainator. But the Fire Blast misses. Oh... Oh, we probably would have lived that though. It depends on IVs, but yeah, the Metagross being slower probably means it's bulkier, so it probably would have lived. But lucky break regardless by triangles, right? We do see Celebi staying in, and we do see it is Rain Dance on Ludicolo, so it's not one of those sub seeds, it's just double step maybe because we do not see an Ice Beam, so Leech Seed, Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, and HP Grass or Giga Drain. But there is. A Salamence. It's very important that Lucolo just change the weather though, which further solidifies my idea that there is a Suicune in the back and it is looking threatening. If we can get by the Celebi, there's a lot of things that, that could happen here. Um, we still don't know if the Lucolo actually has Ice Beam or a Grass Move. It should just be a Grass Move last, right? But the Celebi is looking very annoying. Although... He might not have Recover. We've seen Leech Seed hit the power of Giga Drain. It could just be Recover last, but it could also be one of those Leech Seed Cow Mindsets. Which I don't like, but what do I know? I'm just a washed up guy. The Salamence just slowly chipping down on the Swampert. Um, I am kind of curious how this thing is going to go. I think Rob Jr. already understands that there will be a Suicune in the back. And that's what this game is going to come down to, right? The question is, is there also a Doug Trio? Because if the Celebi happens to kill Colo, gets right by, by Doug Trio, he could all go downhill from there. But we see that Rob Jr. just doesn't believe there is one or chooses not to scout for it, or just has a different plan. He still has two unrevealed, which could be what? Uh, possibly like a Gengar would make a lot of sense. And with tears, the sweet cone. I'm just rambling. And the game is just going. So, come on, let's see who's faster here, that's very important. The Suicune is faster, so that's just not good at all for Rob Jr. Leech Seed, Giga Drain has no PP, this is, may as well just be over. Because Pressure, we do see the Gengar. What was it gonna do though? It can't even break the sub here. It's Taunt, is it the Taunt Destiny Bond? It just got crit, so I guess we'll never know. And they should just be, yeah, they do say the GG's and the game is over. Wow, I do wonder if that was a Destiny Bond Gengar. It could have been, but... There's a lot that we don't know about this game. Two very lucky breaks by Triangles for sure, right? 
the Surf Crit and also the Fire Blast miss on the Metagross, which may or may not have matter. Um, it was really weird going into Metagross on a Tyranitar that had just revealed Fire Blast when you were not a fast Metagross. But I mean, it did work out because you dodged. Sometimes luck is better than skill. Not always, but sometimes. But yeah, 1 0 lead for triangles and. Very weird game. Although I feel like Suicune was always winning this or coming very close to. But let's just jump play on to game 2. I love Mirror Tyranitar leads. I mean, what do you do here, right? It could be like max speed brick break, but if you're not choice band, does that even matter? You could focus punch. We do say brick break and protect. Huh. Very interesting stuff. Oh, wow. Amazing switch by Rob Jr., by the way. So he's the, the fast mix with brick break and HP grass. He's expecting the Zombert. The blind HP grass is just always so nice to see. Uh, this, this like does tell me like some stuff, honestly, right? Well, does it though? I mean, it was pretty obvious that Triangles wasn't staying in there and I guess HP grass is the best mid ground. No, this doesn't tell me anything. But yeah, defensive Swampert, protect, we see protect on Swampert and on Tyranitar, so like a TSS style kind of thing going on here. And we do see Hard Duck Drill on the HP Grass, which creates, okay, so I guess the luck's reversed right now. Uh, for everything that Triangle's got on game one, this is already a really good start for Rob Jr. Getting the crit on that Duck Drill, which mm, it depends on IVs, obviously. We don't know if that would have killed or not the Tyranitar. But a lot going on here. Uh, we see that the Duggan Trio is dead against a team that has Tyranitar and a Celebi. And there's a Starmie as Wampert. Yeah, the, the Celebi looks so good right now. We also see a Charizard coming in on the Celebi. And the Charizard is indeed faster, so probably not a, a super offensive Celebi or anything like that. Fire Blast on Tyranitar, which has only built Protect so far. And we see a focus point on the Brick Break. Yeah, Robbie Jr. just has so much momentum going on inside right now. And the Tyranitar is low, that Celebi is a bigger threat. He has answers to everything here. Very nice switch on the Protect. The Tyranitar is like struggling, hoping to get back leftovers. Robo Jr. just doesn't get triangles, get any momentum back. Stays on the offensive. We see his last one already revealed and taking the Meteor Mesh, which I assume is banded. Unless my, my head cogs are off for not playing for so long. But yeah, a lot of damage on the Zapdos. Doesn't look like anything on Triangle side can take any more Meteor Meshes. Should they need to? And defensive Zapdos, maybe? Probably, right? But it's like bulky ish. Uh, Sorbjorn knows that, knows that his Charizard will be faster, and he just gets a kill here. Except there's a Starmie. But then doesn't Celebi get a kill here? How is Triangles getting out of this one? It looks like a very, very bad position. Hydro Pump doing half to Zomper, does a lot of damage, does a very offensive Starmie. Uh, I guess Rob Jr. is just trying to preserve the Celebi as much as he could. And we see HP Grass Swampert? Is that like a thing? Why is that a thing? That, that should not be a thing. Come on. And wow. Did... Does that just kill? I, I, I get it, it was a crit, but like... It's still... How does that just kill? Very nice Psychic, by the way. This is offensive Celebi. Probably Super B. We do see that the Salamence is faster, though. And it Dragon Danced, and it doesn't look like anything else can take a hit. So. Maybe Zwompert after Protects, but we do see the second Dragon Dance, and from here, there, there should be no way. That was kind of risky, I guess. Well, it wasn't really, because even if the Celebi stays in, you're only really dead to a crit. And getting that second Dragon Dance really solidifies the win over the Zwompert getting Protect turns right. Uh, but from here, the Salamence should just whip, which will bring us to a Game 3. Wow. Huh, the Celebi almost bringing it back with the wild crit on the switch to the chairs are there, but just not enough. And the Salamence should still kill here very easily. I'm uh, just going through the motions right now as we prepare for game three. Triangle is still trying and just probably was just flexing at this point. Was that even necessary? Like, really? I mean, 
Oh, was the game over actually? Because. Well, let's just say he sacked the Terminator and then the Zomper came back and then the Zomper lived. Well, at that point, maybe Salaby could win. So, I don't know. I mean, there's still the Metagross. I don't know. I'm not sure, like, if I really like that Dragon Dance there when it could have just, like, been Ice Bean, but it worked. So, what am I to say anything? What am I to say anything, even? Um, we do see the Zomper trying to go for the Protect. I have no idea if that was even worth it. Man, I I kind of want to like sit down and go through the calculator right now because I feel like my head counts are just way off. But I mean, I, I do know that Salaby dies and that Starmie dies. So, you know, let me, let me just speed this up and let's go to game three, right? I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm like weirded out by the way that this game played, but... You know, game three. Skarmory, wow, what a change of pace. Okay, so Triangles has actually used two pretty offensive teams. I guess the second one wasn't that offensive. There was just like a Doug Trio in the middle of like a very bulky offense kind of deal. Uh, but Skarmory could just be a lot of things. Definitely switching out of the Salamence. I wonder if Robo Junior will just go for like a wild brick break or HP grass here, because I mean. This is a Fire Blast coming, right? And yeah, just Fire Blast on the base. Should have Brick Break. Come on, Rob. We do see Jirachi. Oh, so yeah, much, much bulkier team already from Triangles. When we see Blisse, I don't really expect the Skarmory to be uh, any sort of offensive Skarmory, Yolo Skarm, any of that nonsense. Just good old Skarm Bliss, as we used to do 10 years ago. 20 years ago? Oh my god, I'm old. Uh, Starmie, please don't be bulky defensive Starmie. Oh, okay. Triangles is losing this. This, this is the kind of team that I hate. Starmie is just not, not really a thing. I mean, it is a thing when your opponent switches in their Tyranitar on your Surf, but... I just hate the, the defensive Thunder Wave Spin Surf Recover set so much. It's just so passive. It's not even great at spinning. It gives up so much momentum. It's working here. So again, I'm not playing the tournament. I'm a washed up guy. What do I know? And a Celebi, huh? Okay, I I, I don't like triangles, team. I, even getting the switch correctly is not enough. The tormentor is healthy. And how is triangles ever killing a wish Jirachi? Spies are gonna go back up. Starmie is gonna pretend that it's a spinner. It's gonna spin a couple times. But it's just not gonna be enough to keep the pressure off. And Jirachi is gonna wish everything back up constantly, despite being paralyzed. Yeah, like, I need to see more from Triangles. What could he have in the back? Definitely a Gengar, right? Like, that's... Okay, so it's Zapdos and then a Gengar. I mean, I'm just assuming it doesn't have to be a Gengar. It could just be like, I guess it doesn't have a rock resist. It cannot be a Swampert. So either Jirachi of his own or a Metagross. And then just pretending Starm is your bulky water of sort and spinner. And it doesn't do either that well. Anyways, I'm just rambling. I'm just hating on this guy's team. Um. Cool stuff by, by Rob, by the way. Wish Jirachi, again, like, paired with mixed attackers. I'm assuming Tyranitar is either Pursuit or Mixed or both. And Spike should pressure up uh, the Blissey and Swamperts and Bulky Waters and whatnot. And that's the thing. You, you don't really even need to spin block, but he does have the Gengar, which is kind of good here against Camry. wonder what kind of set does this have. Uh, definitely will always be up. So, going Blissey and risking this Mintaunt is pretty rough. The Blissey just takes so much damage here and it's gonna be way, way too low to the point where the, the Salamence becomes a threat. Yeah, and you see, it is will always taunt. Does get the chip on the Gengar, but. And I guess that chip would be there to stay because of the Sandstorm, except for the fact. That this Jirachi is clicking Wish anytime he wants to. Because Triangle's team is so passive here. 
Oh, damn. I guess Rob Jr. is pressured by the spikes himself. If Triangles could get another layer, a very nice ice beam on the switch to Celebi there. Force it to recover here, so we cannot chip down the Salamence. And now, I mean, you, you have to go Zapdos, right? But what if it's Rock Slide? Do you go... Your Blissa is too low. You could go Starm, but if Starm doesn't have Ice Beam, it misses the Fire Blast. That is huge. Uh, if that man does have Rock Slide, it does have it. So, okay. Okay. So, I was going to say that the Fire Blast means really matter, but it doesn't matter if you just create the follow-up Rock Slide. But Triangles needs to reveal something here. So, is the Jirachi in the back? Maybe a Metagross? Definitely not a Gengar. Could just go star me here and go for the thunder wave but then jirachi is gonna pass wishes around bliss is too low he's gonna die to brick break after spikes not a skarmory matchup not a celebi matchup so triangle says we come up something we do see the metagross and you know it might force the salamence out for now but on the long term what is metagross doing to stop the salamence from winning here oh maybe the metagross can threaten to win itself the skarmory is super low and everything else kind of dies, yeah, the, I mean, maybe you get like one more layer here, maybe you can get a Toxic on the Swampert. And then you threaten to win with your Metagross, but... I mean, can you? Because it's not going to be an Agility Metagross, I don't think so, right? We do see that the Swampert is faster than Skarmory, and he just goes for the Ice Beams, doesn't even risk the Hydro Pump missing. Very, very conservative play there. Uh, gets the crit, so you know, it doesn't matter. But the layers are down, and that Swampert cannot really switch in on, on Metagross anymore. Neither can the Skarmory, so... Huh, maybe Triangles could bring it back for Metagross. I'm not doubting that. I am not doubting that. We see a Dragon Claw, maybe an overprediction here, expecting a Starmie? Hmm... Oh, the Salamence is a threat. What is Triangles gonna do about it? If he had just like Leech hit on the Dragon Claw turn, maybe he would have been in a fine position, but... Uh, Fire Blast just kills from here, he just goes Starmie, you could get a Rapid Spin off maybe, but then you, you risk Jirachi getting a Wish off. You could just throw a Surf here, right? That's like not the worst. Spikes are down, that's a lot of damage. Just goes for the Rapid Spin. I mean... That happens to be like an agility metagross, which I don't think it is on this team, but like wishful thinking, right? He could win. Wishing back up the Salamence on Blissey. Does he go for the Ice Beam? He does not. Wow. Very, very, very risky move by Rob going Salamence on the Blissey that has revealed Ice Beam. I guess you just know that he's not thinking you're crazy enough to do it, and you're not crazy enough to Ice Beam Majorachi. Gets his man's back to full health, which is huge. He's still first out here, but. You know, definitely, definitely a very good trade for Rob, because now you can switch into Celebi if you need to. You can kind of take hits from Starmie, and you can probably take a hit from Metagross on a pinch, because it's not choice banned, it's probably a little bit bulky. I'm just wobbling around in my mouth, I'm just excited. It's It's been a while since I, I've cared about Pokemon games like this. It definitely has been a while. We do see the Jirachi reveal Body Slam, he had not revealed that. Um, but really, the only thing this, this Pokemon is to click here is Wish. And it's probably gonna be enough. Uh, I think Triangles has to get his Metagross in in a good position, right? Like, if you can get a Metagross in on, on the right turn on the Jirachi, or like a Popera ideally. Or on the Star Enter switch. Um, the Super Suit with the Celebi now, because that would be devastating. I guess Crunch is just kind of free, but he does go over the Pursuit and that Celebi is just super low now. Uh, at least he doesn't have to do with Spikes, but... I mean, what does he do from here? The Skarmory is dead, so no more Spikes. Maybe the Celebi could heal. The Gengar, is this gonna explode? He could, right? Willow is gonna explode, is not unheard of at all. Very good scouting going Starmie on the Willow is. But, I mean, to some extent, keeping Starmie is kind of relevant, right? Because Robby does struggle to kill Starmie. Uh, he does sacrifice the Gengar. And, yeah, just goes for the Tarmanitar Trap angle, which makes a lot of sense. 
We could see a Sacrifice Thunder Wave here, just goes for the damage surf, makes a lot of sense. Huh, so is Mana Gross faster? Triangles doesn't want to reset, just goes into Blisse. He probably knows from the surf damage if it's faster or slower. So the question here is just can Metagross do it? Or maybe can Blissey do it, right? Like this Swampert is probably a focus punch, but if it gets low enough, it will be in Metagross range. The Salamence is not killing from here, it just goes Swampert. Could also be a random endeavor. Let's move. But wow, this is actually really close. Go Celebi. On the Earthquake, okay. Good reads by, by Triangles there. Not risking losing health on the Blissey, keeping it healthy for the Salamence. And... Oh, but he gets frozen! That's so unlucky! Wow, I think Triangles was actually turning this around and was actually in a winning position here. Despite everything that I have been saying. Everything just... Wow. And he's frozen still. Over prediction by Rob though, expecting triangles to go into Blissey there and goes for the Earthquake. I guess you go for the Earthquake again. Yeah, and the Freeze. Wow, that really does thing. And now you're forced to go back to Blissey, the matchup that you switched out of in the first place. And it's a Curse Swamper, so that will actually beat Blissey. Wow, maybe we could get a Metagross Miracle here? Huh? Is it even that unlikely? I guess you gotta go for the freeze. Triangle doesn't think he has to go for the freeze. He thinks he can win it. I guess... Well, he could crit, right? Like... Just go for the crit here? You don't even need a crit, just Earthquake. Wow. But Salamence will live, right? And it outspeeds and it kills you. Fire Blast, the 75, and burns. And your Meteor Mesh does not do enough. Doesn't get the lucky crit. And this is over for triangles. Wow, what a what a fight back. From what I thought was a really, really bad position, he brought himself back into what I then thought was a winning position, and then he got frozen. Because like what would Rob Jr. be able to do if the the Celebi didn't get frozen and he just Giga Drain killed the Swamper? And then it was like healthy again. And you have, I mean, the Salamence is threatening, but there are no more spikes. So yeah, very, very well played by Triangles, but so unlucky, it didn't matter. And congrats to Rob Jr., he gets his win. What can I say? Wow. <laughs> what a game. What a game. Kaos was not lying to me when he said this game was exciting. Lots of ups and downs, lots of, like, lucky moments. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I'll be back for more narrations. I'm excited for this tournament. And I'm just excited to watch some top tier, high level AD view you again. I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully you had a good time here. Goodbye.